Hey, 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 okay, everyone having a good evening, good evening, good evening, let's get up into this, okay, let's get up into this, um, so I had watched, um, Puck and Patch, um, latest video of her, you know, doing the, the, you know, the seafood, you know, bowl or whatever like that, okay, let's get up into it, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, hit that notification, you'll be notified if you want to support the channel, I do have a cash app to support my channel, okay, also, if you want to support my other channel, Go over there and hit the subscribe button. My second channel link is in the bio. Okay, I have different content over there. Get into it. All right. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. But let's get up into it right quick. So she went live. She's starting to go on live. She's starting to go live more um, than she used to. Okay. She might not be doing no editing videos, but she's starting to go live mostly every day. Okay. Um. She called a place that she's staying in, a content house. That's what she calls it, okay? Um, okay. But let me make this disclaimer. I get on here and do commentary. You need to look up the definition of commentary. You need to look up the definition of a, a reaction before you come on here and tell me that I'm in somebody else's personal life. No, I only talk about what they post on their YouTube. And this is, and this is commentary, okay? On my opinion on how I feel about what I watched. It's just that simple, Okay. No hard feelings, no ill will. Just my personal opinion, okay? Just like when y'all come in, it's y'all personal opinion. I don't... It's the same thing. I'm just on here talking. It's just my channel. Um, Excuse me. Anyway. But, um, so I had to make that disclaimer. But she... I have said this before in another video that I have done on her. Where she said she doesn't do shout out. She doesn't do shout out. She don't care if you pay her. She doesn't shout at nobody's stuff. They send her anything. She not. She won't really. She won't mention it. Okay. I guess somebody asked her to mention something that they have. You know. She told them reiterating that she's saying she not might not get to it or she might not uh, be able to shut over it or she might not see it. She just basically just saying that she's not going to um, show anything that y'all. If y'all send her something, it, it's just free and she won't. Shout it out and let people know that y'all have sent it. It's just that simple, you know. Um, people just asking her to um, send them stuff, but she letting them know that she won't be saying anything about it. And um, I feel like that's kind of, I guess she don't, I don't know why she want to do that because I'm not in her brain. But that seems kind of shit, you know, selfish to me or somebody. It don't cause nothing to say, hey, this person got me this, go over there and support them. This, but... But she want people to come over and shout out what she got going on. But she, I guess she just branding herself. And I guess she don't want to have nobody else brand themselves. Unless it's with the Facebook Reel, uh, starting a YouTube channel, or whatever like that. Um, but my personal thing is, somebody sending you something and it's free. It don't hurt to be worried about it and say, hey, this product was good. Or, yeah, I go shop her. She supports me, so I'm going to support the business i guess i don't know it could be jealousy or don't want to see nobody else do better than you uh it could be a lot of reason but that's what it come to my mind when she said that okay because it doesn't hurt because when you do stuff like that god gonna bless you anyway you're gonna re you know read back what you sow because you see you put out a good deed for somebody else to bless him to make some money uh, potentially but anyway um we seen that her and uh, Woody Wood was over there enjoying they stuff like they a single couple, um, you know, over there chilling. And another thing that caught my attention when I was watching her video when she was doing the chicken, she was saying that she uh, like her time to herself. Uh, she don't want to be around, be, you know, you know, be around kids um, all day long. Um, she said she don't want to, you know, be around or have to deal with it all day long. She like her space and time to herself. Okay, that's good. You like your time to yourself. You want your space. But why did you have six kids if you want all this space and time? I just don't get it. It's just really selfish and inconsiderate if you ask me. Um, and you feel like to me that what I feel is though, it feel like when she goes over there, you know, to pick up the kids or go get the kids, it's like, like she, it seems like she's babysitting her kids instead of the nanny doing it. It just, it's just really, it's, it's really awkward and weird. And I said what I said, okay? It, it, it's nothing wrong with it. Yep, everybody want to say, other people do it, other people do it. But do they do it like this? It, it's a way of going by how you do stuff. You can't control how nobody do nothing. That's her life. 
But do you go about this? Because I heard it was shocking to me when um yesterday she was alive or whatever, and she was uh cooking, and she said the kids had already ate. But the oldest boy shocked me when he was like he was ready to go. He was ready to go as soon as he hit the door. He wanted. To, I don't know if he hit the oldest boy, but he wanted to. He old enough to understand. He ready to go. Okay. Um, he was like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. So he was ready to get back over there where the nan was it, and I guess his other siblings. So and she was like, "What you gonna do when you get over there?" And he was ready to go. Okay, he was just he was on. He didn't want to stay, and he was that he wasn't even there a good thirty minutes. So that's telling. Okay, that's 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 like he don't want to be over there. He was like, "I'm ready to go to the house," and they were telling him to they finna take him, um, sit down, wait a minute, you know. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Like, he did not even want to be here. You like, if he used to, okay, when kids get used to stuff and they used to uh, the routine of things, they don't want, they don't really want to be changed from that. You know, they don't. They don't. I know I have a child and she would brand me all the time. Um, She's older now, but she gets out and go with her friends and stuff like that. But, she always revert back to I miss being at the house with me. If she go over somebody's house for too long, she wanna come back home. But he seemed like he wanna get back over to the other place. Don't wanna be over there with it. You know, it just you know, it was just really weird. And it really caught my attention as well. But um y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. I just wanted to bring it to y'all a couple of key points. Um it's really been kinda of dry here to me. It's been kinda of dry on these YouTube screens. For the people that I talk about, you know, um, I'm gonna look around and see what else is going on out here. But that's really basically all I wanted to say is that it was kind of really awkward to me that um that she don't ever want to sell, you know, help no, no, help no. it's her wish. She don't gotta help nobody if she don't want to. She don't gotta promote, promote nobody if she don't want to. But hey, whatever good for the goose is good for the gander, I guess. Um, you know, that's an old saying. But anyway, see y'all in the next one. All right.